So in previous session, we understood to what kind of editor we are going to use in my JavaScript tutorial. So now let's see if you want to learn any programming language, it may be Java, maybe C++, maybe C sharp, or maybe Apex, or maybe JavaScript. So to understand any language, first we need to understand, uh, forget that, forget that technologically any language, the technical languages. Just think if you want to learn French or if you want to learn Japanese, then what you need to learn? You, you need to learn the alphabets first. And once you learn alphabet, then you can learn how you are going to uh, create a word from that uh, alphabets. Okay. Then from word, you can learn how you are going to make a sentence, then paragraph, then in that way, you learn the complete language. Okay, it may be any language, maybe English, maybe French, maybe Japanese, maybe Java, maybe .NET, maybe C Sharp, C++, or JavaScript, anything. Same way, when I'm going to learn the JavaScript, so first I should learn how I'm going to create a variable. So when I'm writing a program, what I need to do? I have to store my data somewhere in my program. Then I can write logic on top of that. For example, if I'm going to write a Apex class to add uh, two numbers, simply I go to Apex class here, okay? Uh, I click on, let's not creating class, I'm simply going to my developer console. From developer console, if I go to my anonymous window, what I do here? Simply I can create two variable integer a equal to 10 and integer b equal to 20 then i can do some of it so i can do system dot debug a plus b so if you see this this program what do it have two variable which sums up and give me the output or the result if you see 10 plus 20 become 30. same way what is going to happen whenever i want to learn any language i have to know how I'm going to store a value to some variable, then how I'm going to use the operations. Nothing but I can say, we should understand how I'm going to manipulate or how I'm going to use my variable, and then what kind of operator I can use on this. So these are the two basic core concepts which we need to understand first. Then we'll see different thing. Like when I'm in the Apex, I can use variable with different types. Like here I have a variable of integer a, nothing but a is a variable of type integer where I can store the integer type of data only. I cannot store any kind of string here. If I try to do this, it will give me error. We can see here. So now, same as what I'm going to do here. Let me, let me delete it. If I click execute, if you see, it's giving some error, illegal assignment from string to integer. So when I define a variable, I'm specifying what kind of value this variable can store. Same way when I'm going to learn JavaScript, I have to understand what is my JavaScript variable and how I can create my variable. And before to do that, let's uh, write a small JavaScript language or, or JavaScript logic on my visual force page. To do that, what I'm going to do here, I'm going to my Salesforce. So, if you didn't log into Salesforce login, then go to setup from here. Then from setup, simply source pages. Or if you have any ID, you can use that. Maybe Visual Studio Code or any ID you use. But I'm just showing you in the Salesforce platform itself. Click on Visual Force page. I click on the new. Let's see. I will say this is my Hello World page. Okay. So I'll I'll show you how I'm going to use JavaScript inside this language or inside this page let's see my first i'm i'm saying uh, this is before script so after that i'm going to add my script whenever i want to add a script on any visual first page simply use my script tag then close of the script tag here so we have something called alert which i will explain in upcoming sessions okay so right now what I do, simply I'm writing a alert statement which will give a alert on the browser. So simply I can say, welcome to JavaScript for Salesforce tutorial. 
okay so this is nothing but it is to to write a inline script here and also we can use uh, external script external javascript on my page also okay we will see that in later sessions now if i save this page okay uh, let me see if i have uh, missed something okay i have it here simply i'm just deleting it let me click on the save so now if i preview this page what is going to happen so my hello world page coming now see i got the alert welcome to javascript for self host tutorial and you can see here uh, my code content what i have so if you are not getting this one what you do simply go to your user tab let me show you that if you go to your user tab in the setup what i'm trying to say here i'm going to get this development tool okay if you, if you are not getting this simply go to your user then click on edit then there is an option called development tool just select development tool here let me see yeah you can see development mode you can check this checkbox then you can get in the footer this development uh, tool where you can write the code itself also let's see i'm going to uh, write one more uh, I, I i i want to show welcome to javascript for self host tutorial, tutorial of and some name simply i can declare some kind of variable which i say let's see var name equal to devices and uh, i want to show this also so simply i can say alert name okay if i save it now you can see how how javascript going to work see i got the verses and then i got second alert so this is nothing but a, a simplest way how i am going to add a script on my visual force page so we'll see in the next session how i'm going to create different kind of variables and when i use the variables what kind of uh, uh, like I, i'm trying to align that with self for apex programming so if you are the core apex programmer then you can easily understand i'm just going to map the concept with this apex programming so if in apex i'm going to create a variable as an integer a equal to 40 so how i can do in javascript thank you stay tuned for next session